In this web clip, I'm going to explore some of the functionality in the appearance section of the flare ribbon and show how to view contacts between a protein and ligand. I have loaded PDB entry 4ZLZ into flare and I have fully prepared the protein and ligand. The display of proteins, ligands and other objects in flare is highly configurable and enables you to create attractive displays which can be saved out as high quality images. I will first turn off the ribbon and change the display style of the protein active site residues to thin stick. The ligand representation style can be changed to ball and stick in a similar way, or alternatively I can select the ligand, right click and pick from the resultant pull down menu. The protein ribbon can be displayed for a user defined selection, for example residues that define the binding site, by picking the active site then turning the ribbon back on. I can change the ribbon's representation style to flat via the ribbon button's pull-down menu and increase its transparency to simplify the 3D view. Colouring options are also available for the ribbon via the ribbon colour menu. Choose your own preferred colour or to match the protein atom colour or select from more advanced options such as colouring by residue, sequence, chain temperature factor or Ramachandran. A similar set of colour preferences is provided for ligands under the colour pool button, including whether the selected colour scheme includes only ligand carbon atoms or all ligand atoms. Use the contacts button to view H bond and other short range contacts for the selected protein and ligand. If I click on the downward pointing arrow, this launches the contacts dialog where we can see that all short-range contacts are shown by default. I can choose to view specific interactions, for example only the stronger H-bonds, shown in green in the 3D view, and cation pi interactions, shown in purple. The matrices at the bottom of the window can be used to further customise the contact and steric clash interaction display, including making the contacts bold. I can label ligands, protein residues, cofactors or waters in the 3D view, for example a residue that makes key interactions with the ligand, by selecting it, hitting the labels button and picking residue. Alternatively, I can annotate moieties with freeform text by selecting them, right clicking, selecting the annotate option and typing into the resultant window. Once you have your 3D display as you want it, an image can be saved to file by going to the View menu and hitting the Save Picture button. Image properties can be optimised via the Appearance Preferences. Contact us today to evaluate Flare.